kindergarten mathematicians. This is Mrs. Brown, and I'm glad you're joining me for sorting and classifying. This math lesson comes from lesson two for the week of June 1st through June 5th. Our objective today is to group objects by sorting and classifying them into categories to compare how they are similar and different. We will continue to work on finding different ways to group objects in order to compare the many ways they are similar and different from one another. During our previous lesson, you had the opportunity to sort and classify items from around your house. Today, we will sort and classify a collection of animals. Did you know a group of scientists known as biologists often sort and classify animals into categories? We will work as both mathematicians and scientists by sorting and classifying animals in different ways to compare how they are similar and different from one another. Check out this collection of amazing animals. Can you name all the different animals in the pictures? Tell someone nearby the names of the animals you recognize. Are most of these animals the same or different? Do they have anything in common? Do you see a way that some of the animals go together as a group? Turn and share your thinking with someone nearby. One way I notice is that some of the animals live in the water. Let's sort and classify the animals into two categories. Animals that live in the water and animals that do not live in the water. I can move the cards in a way that groups them and lets me see more clearly how they are similar and different from one another. An elephant does not live in the water, but a shark does. These two animals are different because one lives in the water and one lives on land. I can continue to sort and classify the animals. Hmm, a sea turtle. That's a bit of a tricky one. The turtle, I know, he comes onto the beach to lay his eggs, but he does spend most of his life in the water. So I'm going to put the sea turtle in the category of animals that live in the water. These animals in this category are the same because they spend most of their lives in the water. How many animals are in the category that live in the water? Did you say five? How many animals do not live in the water? That's right, 10 animals do not live in the water. Which category has fewer animals? There are fewer animals that live in the water. Five animals are less or fewer than 10 animals. Let's see if we can find some other ways that these animals are similar and different from one another. We can use a different characteristic to sort and classify. When I look at the animal cards again, I notice that some of them have legs. By finding a characteristic, I can create two categories in which to sort and classify animals. One category will be animals that have four legs, 
and the other category will be animals that do not have four legs. I will sort the animals into two groups. Fish and sharks have zero legs. Hmm, a sea turtle has four flippers to help him swim, not four legs. How many animals have four legs? There are six. How many animals do not have four legs? Did you say nine animals? Which category has the most animals? That's right. There are more animals that do not have four legs. Nine is greater than six. This time, I'm going to sort and classify the animals, but I'm not going to tell you the characteristics I'm using to make my two categories. Let's see if you can figure out how I made the groups by paying attention to how the animals in each category are the same, but different from the animals in the other category. What is the same about these three animals that makes them different from the animals in this category? Share your thinking with someone nearby. Did you figure out that all of the animals in the first category are animals that can fly? And the animals in the second category are the ones that cannot fly. If you could add several more animals to the category animals that can fly, what might you add? Share your ideas with someone. I was thinking you could add a robin or a hawk or even a parrot. Could you add a penguin? Hmm, while it does have wings like the other animals in this category, penguins do not fly. So a penguin would have to go into the other category with the animals that do not fly. Now it is your turn to sort and classify. Try the favorite lunch foods activity to practice your sorting and classifying skills. When you're ready, Complete the What's the Same resource sheet number three as an assessment of your learning. Make sure to keep your work in a safe place to share with your teacher. I look forward to doing some more math with you sometime soon. Have a fantastic day, kindergartners.